Hello everybody, this is Santa Sulky and welcome back to One Shot. In the last episode we did a lot, we started out the game, we met this dude right here, or this, you know, this girl. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember her name or anything, but we're just gonna go ahead. We've now gotten into these mines that have been abandoned for years, and so she has to come along with us because it's safer. She comes along because it might be dangerous because they've aban been abandoned for years. We don't know what's in here. So, let's go ahead and, uh, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to, uh, do be careful in here. I will. I will. Or I'm just gonna run off. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand too close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel com collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't ally allow it. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines. Um, the source of this world's metal and non phosphor 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 fuel. This is what propelled the. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. Industrial industrial age. So now it's lost forever. It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have been all cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Although there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh, I hope he's okay. All right, the yellow light is gone now. I must have imagined it. Right, can we just be savage and walk? Safety violation, oh God damn it! Can we not, come on. Don't be such, don't, just be a dick. Oh, there's something I can pick up here. There's a little gadget on the ground. Looks like, this looks kind of like a camera. What's left of a camera anyway? Probably even part of a robot at, at one point. Oh, o or not, I, I don't know. She seems depressed, well. Don't blame her though, honestly. So there's a lot of shrimp jars and everything. Um, so do be careful in here. Yeah. So I guess we need to find a vehicle or something to drive. I I mean that's what I'm guessing, obviously. Ready to leave? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. There's nothing we can really do here, so obviously we're gonna leave. Oh shit. All right. So where do we go from here? Um. Yeah, we've already been in here. So. Right. So. Uh. Already, already been right there, so let's not go back there again. Um, let's no, 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 no. Um, so what we do from here? What we do here is go back, 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 back. Now what we do from here, I'm actually really not sure about it, uh, cause there's many paths to take, so I really don't know where to go from here. Oh, that's right. That that's where the air is. It's hard to breathe in and everything, so. Let's not, let's not go there, you know, let's, let's not, let's not do that shit. So, uh, um, hmm. Where do we go from here? Do we go, I don't think we've been down, wait, no, that, that's where we have been already. Yeah, 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 so, let's go. That's a dead end, right. So, I think we've pretty much gone the places we can go, so. What to do from here? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, done. Oh, so we got a lens, uh. Can't combine those. Can't combine those. Can't combine those. Can't combine those. So now I've just got a large glass lens. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, what was that? Seems to be okay, just doesn't have power. Right, okay. Robot sitting on the conveyor belt. S doesn't seem to have power. None of them do. Robot sitting on the conve conveyor belt doesn't seem to have power. Uh, once again. Oh. That's wet and sticky and all that. All right, so can we do anything here? A big machine. Looks like a press and looks like a press used to crush metal. Do we have anything it can crush? Then maybe. Maybe the lens, I guess. I don't know. Oof. No, I don't think it can actually do that. Right. Um. Yeah. So still just that. All right. So nothing we can really do in here. What's going on here and everything? Oh god. What's left of a robot's arm? What's left of a robot's arm? Alright, everything like that. Oh Jesus Christ, that thing's crushing things. Oh, this machine's still running. Maybe I shouldn't stand so close to it. What, what if my scarf got caught in there? A and then it'll pull me in and... Not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> right. Can I... No, I cannot use anything on it then. Right. Right. Okay, so. Um. 
Not even sure what the well, oh, not even sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe a leg? I don't know. Uh there has to be a purpose for that thing running still. There's gotta be. What can I do around here? Oh, can I go in oh okay, I can go in here. That's fine. So I can go in here, uh Can I read this note? Oh the use of a robot as a replacement head engineer seems on seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for the last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the a city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those who work here. <laughs> the swallow. <laughs> I hope that man knows he's doing what he's doing. Management. I cannot fucking read. Jesus Christ. Robot without power. Of course. It won't turn on. Well, we need to turn it on, I suppose. What, what, what is that? What is that? This box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. Oh, so we're gonna need something to open it with, right? Okay. Can I do something with this? Oh, that's pages. A robot may not injure a living person or, through inaction, allow a person to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Oh, at least specific stuff. Oh, map of the world. Alright, so, not a very large world or anything, but that's fine. So, uh, let's go in here, see if we can find something. Alright, a page with faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic, electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high, as expected. We have provided custom customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker, and the signals are highly specific. In order, in other words, these small cells can only charge one single. The rest of the page is unreadable. Right. It's absolutely fine. It's power cell, I think. Oh! The word profit bot is written on the side. Didn't notice that earlier. Right then. Okay. Oh. That's a big machine. Doesn't need to be doing anything though. There's a rectangle shape in the middle. Looks like something. Uh, looks like something used to fit in here. Uh, right. So, do we have anything that could fit in there? No, we do not. It seems. I don't think we have anything. No. Okay. So. No, I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. <laughs> All right. Can we inspect these shelves? Dusty shelves. Dusty shelves. All right. Just dusty shelves. Fair enough then. Oh, we can go over here. Right, didn't realize that because there's objects in the way, so you don't think you can go over here. But anyway, it's a Vader poster. Reminder to all workers: the rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor swim spawn period. If you observe a pond, a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team asap. Right, that's fine. All right. It's a faded poster. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provis provisions I can't speak are included upon hiring. First come, then serve. No, first come, first serve. God damn it. I just can't read today. Can I just have a single fucking read without messing all this shit up? Like, Jesus Christ. Alright. Uh, found this place. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes. Just do it. The fucking game closed. Alright. Guess I have to open it up again. Please don't tell me I lost a lot of progress. Oh! I guess she's streaming now or something. I don't know. Oh! I have to press space in order to continue. Right. <laughs> yeah, so this must be her dreaming. Alright. Just walking. This is beautiful art. Must have been an amazing nap. Sander, are you still there? Yes, I am. Yes. Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Wow. I... I really thought I, I thought I was back home. Aww. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. Bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Ah, uh, I guess not. If you're the god of this world... You wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your homeworld called? That's the secret. No, I'm gonna say Earth. Earth? Like, the stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live on the ground? 
No, I do not. Ah, neither do we. But shrews and veal, mice and stuff do. Yes. Does your world have a sun? Uh, yes, there's also a ball of fire. fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? <laughs> the sun in my home is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes. At night, everything goes dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? My world is like that, too. Ah, do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep, usually. But some people stay up and use computers. You're talking directly to me. This is a jab at me. Uh, I don't have to explain what they are, do I? No, 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 no. There's a bunch of them in this world. See, you're inside a computer right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, we should probably get going. Yeah. Fun talking with you, though. All right. It's a metal pipe. Must have broken off from one of these terminals. Oh, now I have that. Okay. Do I... Do I use that or something? Do I... Maybe I can combine it. Sander! I am not gonna smash the sun. <laughs> I even got an achievement, chaotic evil. Oh my god! If you can see that, can you can you see, can you see that? Why did that not show up on the fucking screen? All right, it's all back now. I realized that you know it showed up in the corner of my screen, so you couldn't see that whole um. There's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. All right, that's that's that that's that place. Right, right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, it was in the corner of the screen, and obviously since I've stretched this out, it's not gonna show that. But yeah, um, can I move? I can't combine those. Not gonna smash the bottle. Uh, can't combine those, right? <laughs> not gonna smash the sun. <laughs> That's just funny. Uh, who are you? Oh, hello? Sander, are you there? Yes. Oh, good. There's a robot here, attached to a boat. It doesn't need that power, and its joints are rushed over as well. I don't think we should, be, I, but I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross that this ocean to get to the tower. Okay, yeah. I guess we'll fix them at some point then. Yeah. Uh, but these seem like. Ooh, maybe we'll go out sailing at some point. It seems to be like there's supposed to be boats here. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's the place where you can't breathe. Right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back and everything. Well, let's just go back. Um, so what do we do from here? Uh, right, so I might be able to open this with the thing that we got. This metal rod that we've got. Might be able to. The pipe won't fit under the, under the cracks. We need to flatten it somehow. What? We need to flatten it. Oh, wait, wait. The crush, the, that crushing machine thing. Of course. Of course, that crushing machine thing. Yes, that we saw earlier. Wherever it may be, I don't remember. It. I think it might actually be in a, in a different building. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we'll need to find that building, wherever that may be. I think it might be this one right here. I think it. Uh, it, uh, it has to be. It has to be this one. Yes. Ah. Do you want me to crush the pipe in here, Center? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. Uh, maybe take off your scarf or something? That was scary. Well, I mean, if you're worried about your scarf getting stuck in there and then you can pull it in there, then maybe take it off, you know? Just take it off for the time being. Or is it permanently attached? I have no idea. Anyway, we'll go back to that place now. And, uh, yeah. Just, uh... The box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I need to I need to equip it first. The bar should open it. Yes. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in there. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery solar battery on the side. So then if we think creatively. <laughs> this should work. I don't think we can do anything else here, Sander. Feels like we're on the right track though. Huh? Lens pops it right in. Oh yes! Empty battery. So, maybe do this. We're using the sun directly into the on, on the battery? I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Xander. Wow, thank you. Ah, looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Charge battery, hey! Rechargeable battery, maximum power. So, should be able to... Now we need to f figure out where to use that. Maybe, uh, where do we use it? The computer? Won't turn on right now. So, now we just need to find out where to use that thing.
It's Parathol, I think. Oh! No, no, we've already... All right, 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 right. Maybe in here! Maybe in here! Oh! Let's hope the charge battery does something. Hey, it did! It powered up the machine and everything. Wow! <laughs> wow! This must mean that the robots are alive! They're alive! I am functional, just about the generator? I, I I guess we did. Right, Sander? Yes. Maybe let's go back and talk to her now, now that the robots and everything... Um... Wait, actually! No, no, that, that was that robot back there. That we, uh... Needed to fix, where she said it was important that we fixed it or something. She said, I think we can fix it or something like that. Either way, something that tells me that we need to go back to him, wherever he may be. Because I don't really know. But he's out on one of those, uh, you know, those edges, you know. I don't know what the hell you call them. This is where it was hard to breathe, though, right? No, no, it isn't. All right. Um, right, so, yeah, over there, over there, over there, he's over there. Can we go sail in the boat or something now? That would be pretty cool. I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Sander helped me. <laughs> but yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm a robot 310. Would you like to take some... Would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on. Sander and I will find a way to help you. Oh, so we need to... Alright. Can we... Just for fun, can we combine something? No, we cannot combine any of that. Yeah, I'm not gonna smash the bottle. Sander, I'm not gonna smash the sun. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. It'd be funny if you could actually do it and you just get a game over or something. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. But dangerous, of course. Well, I think I'm actually gonna end off the episode here. We've got a done today. We've got quite a bit of stuff done. So obviously, in the next episode, we're gonna get some more stuff done. Hopefully fix that robot so he's not rusty and can take us somewhere with that boat. That'd be pretty cool. But other, other than that, if you did like what you saw, click like and subscribe, share with, with your friends and family, maybe your dog. Check out Sulky on Twitter for the newest information on all the newest content that's coming out. Anyway, Santa Sulky, we played one shot once again. Really enjoying this game so far, and I hope you all are too. But hopefully, we'll see you all next time. Peace out.